Hey everybody, welcome back to Writer's Workshop. Let's make sure we're ready to learn. So eyes watching, ears listening. My head is a mouse. Still like a pretzel. Okay, the last time we met, we learned um, about the parts of an informational writing book. Here you see them all listed here on our table of contents. Um, today you're gonna learn about doing research, taking notes, and writing your own book. So if you recall, we are going to be writing about baby animals. Um, and we have a lot to learn today, so we're gonna just get right started. Okay, so a month from now, as you know, we're gonna be taking a field trip to Hill Dean, and one of the things that we're gonna do there is we are going to see the baby goats. Um, so we are all next week going to write our first informational book about baby goats, because we wanna be prepared when we go to Hill Dean um, to talk to the people there about baby goats. But then we are hoping that we also have time for you guys to choose your own topic and your own animal and write your own book. Okay, so um, we're gonna walk through that process of writing the book together. So how do you get started? How do you get started? Okay, well, I'm gonna walk you through the steps using cows as an example. Sorry about those little beeps. Okay, so when you do research, you learn as much as you can about your topic, okay? You read books, you read magazines, newspapers, you search the internet all over, you look at reference books, you watch videos, you talk to experts, you do all of these, all of these things, okay? When you're older, it kind of looks like this, like, oh, you got your computer out, you got your notebooks, you got your books, like it's all crazy. But we're not going to do that to you in first grade, okay? We're going to keep it a little bit simple, okay? All you're going to need for, to do your writing book is have your super cute baby animal book. Now, remember, I'm using cows as an example. And your study guide. I bet you've never heard of a study guide before. Well, your study guide is a place to jot down the important things you want to remember. Okay, the important parts that you're gonna need for your book. Okay, so I know I need my book, I know I need my study guide. My first step is I'm gonna just read this book and I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay, I'm just gonna read the whole book through. Okay, then I'm gonna work on filling out my study guide. Now, look at this, look at this. Does this look familiar? probably looks familiar because when you look at closely at your study guide, you'll see that the sections on it match up to the chapters on your table of contents. We did that on purpose. You're also gonna notice that your study guide has some page numbers, okay? That's because we have helped you um, by telling you which page number you're gonna find the answer to these questions, okay? So let's take a look um, at what I mean. First one I wanna look, look, here's, what is it called? Well, I'm gonna find that out on page four. Sure enough, oh shoot, this thing is blocking it, but right here in the corner it says four, okay? Sure enough on page four, Here's my answer. Baby cows are called calves. Okay, got my answer. Now, when I go to fill out my study guide, I'm not writing that whole page, no siree. I'm writing only the important words. There it is, calves. Okay, I just, just found out it's called calves. And then because I read the book all the way through, I know that one is just called a calf. Okay, so I wrote that down too. Um, let's, let's look at another, okay? Back to the study guide, how parents help. Remember that chapter? Well, I'm gonna find that answer on page 10 and 12. Let's see, this thing is gonna be blocking it again. But, oh no, look, there it is. Ah, okay, so there's 10. Sure enough, mom licks her calf to clean it. 
That's how it helps. It cleans it. Thankfully, otherwise it'd probably be a little smelly. Okay, but it wasn't just page 10 that the study guide said. It also said page 12. Uh, you yeah, know, it's blocking it. But look, there's the answer. Mom makes milk. Got my answer. Okay, so look, this is how I filled out my study guide on the, under this section. Keeps it clean, gives her milk. Didn't write all the words on those pages. Nope. I just wrote the important parts, just the words I wanted to remember. Okay, so this is what my completed study guide looks like. Okay, I went and I looked at all these pages. Just put the important words. Okay, um, now, how, how did I use the study guide to write my book? Well, remember here is what I wrote for what is it called? When I went to fill out my book, I didn't just write calves and calf in my book. No, I have to write it in full sentences. I gotta tell who I'm talking about. So I wrote baby cows are called calves. One baby cow is called a calf. So you see those words over here, but I actually wrote them in full sentences. I did the same thing for this chapter, what does it eat? Okay, here are my key words that I wrote down. When I went to write my chapter, I put them in full sentences. A calf drinks milk. Later on, a calf eats hay or grains. Then it chews its own cud. Okay. That's a lot different than what that is. Okay. These are just notes on my study guide. This is my actual book. Same thing for what does it do? You get the idea. I'll just read you what, it, what I wrote. A calf grazes in the pasture. It rests in the shade too. Okay. And then finally, here's my notes from how parents help. When I wrote it in my book, I wrote a calf's mother keeps her baby clean. She also gives the baby her milk. Okay. Now I've done the bulk of my writing. I have my four chapters with all my information, but do you remember what I still have to do? What am I missing? Ah, uh, yes, I'm missing my introduction and conclusion here at the beginning, this one at the end, okay? You guys know how to write introductions and conclusions, so I am not gonna go, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. You can ask a question. Do you think baby cows are cute? Read this book to learn all about them. You can make a statement. Baby cows are very interesting animals. Read this book to learn all about them. Or you can keep it super basic. This book will teach you all about baby cows. Okay, if you wanna keep it super basic, you can. If you wanna get a little bit more sophisticated, you can do, try one of these. Okay, I went for the ask a question on this one. I said, have you ever seen a baby cow? They are so cute. This book will teach you all about them. Okay, conclusion, same idea. All you're doing is wrapping it up. Okay, you're reminding your reader what they just read about. Okay, you can ask a question. Don't you wish you could see a baby cow? You could make a statement. I hope you learned a lot about baby cows. Maybe you will see one in person one day. And the last option, keep it super basic. Now you know all about baby cows. Okay, you're familiar with all of this from your how-to books. I chose this one. I made a statement. Okay, so this is my finished book. I've got my cover, my table of contents, all my chapters. <sighs> now when I'm finished, I'm gonna be able to make my diorama. Okay, so it's your turn to do some research on a baby animal. Remember next week, we're gonna do baby cows together. And then hopefully by the following week, you'll be able to choose your own animal and write um, 
a book of your choosing. So remember when you do research and take notes, you just jot down the important words you want to remember. When you write your actual book, you use full sentences. You can, oh yeah, 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 this one is right. You can do research just like we do. All right, my friends, can't wait to start this with you next week. Happy writing. Bye.